We're just one day away from something in the water's grand return to Virginia Beach to the ocean front there. Pharrell Williams is not only putting on an exciting show for festival goers. He's also creating elastic economic impact with his multi-million dollar development projects and nonprofits in the area. New at 6, Sarah Hammond walks us through what Pharrell's doing and why something he's planting the seeds for the next generation. He has many titles, Grammy Award winning producer, fashion designer, entrepreneur, philanthropist. But one Pharrell Williams is most proud of is Virginia Beach native. If you have 757 blood in your body, this is what you should be doing. And Virginia Beach is proud to claim him. He's our favorite son. He's helping put us on the map nationally. So what is it besides name recognition that gets the 757 so excited about Pharrell? <laughs> To start, he created his nonprofit Yellow here in Norfolk. He also brought a business and economic growth forum called Mighty Dream to the area late last year. Not to mention he has two multi-million dollar projects in the works. The $335 million Atlantic Park project with a surf park was recently approved. It's expected to have an economic impact of $26 million per year. Guys. All signs point to Pharrell also closing a deal to redevelop the military Military Circle Mall area in Norfolk. It's unclear right now how much money that project is expected to bring in, but the total project investment is more than one billion dollars. Of course, there's also something in the water. Though the music festival has a rocky history with the city, it's back at the beach this year. Pharrell first brought the festival to the city in 2019 with big names in music making appearances. In all, it brought $22.8 million to the city. COVID-19 forced the festival to pause in 2020 and 2021 and was moved to D.C. in 2022. That decision came after what Pharrell described as toxic energy in the city in the fallout of the death of his cousin, Donovan Lynch. A Virginia Beach police officer shot and killed Lynch in 2021. Former Virginia Beach City Councilman and now State Senator Aaron Rouse says they were able to patch that relationship. Most friends know there are going to be times that probably you get upset with your friend. Uh, but in order to save that, that friendship, you have to be able to communicate. Business and leadership professor Claire Foster with Regent University says with any investor or project coming to a city, it can be fickle. Always risk and volatility involved in attracting events of any kind. But she says Pharrell's clear passion for the city will likely encourage others to follow suit. When one person gives, it encourages others to give. And this creates a ripple effect of generosity. Something Coastal Edge owner D. Nashnani echoes from his shop at the oceanfront. There are only seeds that are being dropped. We're able to take those seeds and germinate some beautiful, beautiful programming throughout the whole year together. Rouse agrees Pharrell is clearing a path for others to come behind him. He's been able to, um, you know, plow the ground and help it become more fertile, take Hampton Roads to the future. And Nashnani says he's already seeing those seeds grow. I love the fact that this one individual is giving back to community, but he's more than just giving back. He's inspiring us to do the same. Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. Many hope the Mighty Dream Forum in Norfolk will also turn into an annual event. The city could not tell us what economic impact it had on the area or how many people attended, though ticketed events did sell out.